Hello and welcome back to Simon's Rants and to another drunk review. So, it being almost Thanksgiving and all, you might be surprised that I'm not doing a Thanksgiving episode, but here we are, we've got some alcohol, we're wearing a comfortable sweater, and instead of watching the Detroit Lions get their asses kicked, we're watching a very bad movie feeling like we're getting our asses kicked. And we're also gathering close together to do a drunk review as one happy family, because even though I might be alone in person, I am doing a crossover episode with the Grey Matter Studios crew. So say hello guys! They're cool, I promise. They do some similar stuff like drunk reviews, but they also do a lot of other different stuff that's just as cool. So if you head over there, make sure to give them some ranter love and let them know that I sent you. I'll link them below and also link the video that I did over on their channel. But without further ado, let's get this review started. Today we're watching Five Children and It. If you've never heard of this movie, that is probably a good thing. If you grew up watching this movie, I am sorry. Oh, and happy holidays and all that shit. That was real heartwarming. <laughs> Five children and it oh viewing God. take two. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Actually. <laughs> I could wait my entire life. <laughs> Jim Henson. Jim Henson. <laughs> this is a Muppet movie. This just made me think how much better this would be if it was Pennywise. Five children and Pennywise. That's what we should have called it. Five children ended. This is just Stephen King, isn't it? Who's the most important member of any mission? The pilot. Now it's the navigator. The pilot would be lost without one. Yeah, but the navigator wouldn't be able to get anywhere if there wasn't a pilot. Come on now. Don't overcomplicate things. So you always know where to find me. Oh, a compass. He's the navigator. Oh, his dad's dead. <laughs> Robert, what have I told you? Just wait on the platform. This movie's just Narnia, isn't it? Except... Bad. Real bad. You ever hear the story of how J.R. Tolkien threw the first copy of Narnia into the fireplace? <laughs> Wonder what he would have done to this. Oh, we're gonna have that baby in this entire movie. It's gonna be a character. Uh, These children are our main character. Fuck, dude. I, think it's a bit late. That's I still don't understand why we had to leave home. Oh, look! How do they know how do they get there? Did they have a GPS on their phone? What the hell? They're just like, oh, I know how to get to this mysterious mansion that I've never been to before. I'll just walk until I see a mysterious mansion that I've never been to before. There's none of those in Scotland. Good evening, madam. We're looking for our Uncle Albert. We are five children. And it. But you're not due till Friday. Today is Friday. It is? I have a goose in the oven. Goose is Thursdays. Ah, quirky. I I guess, because forgetting the day of the week is quirky. It's just one day, I suppose. Last year we lost October. It's not an easy thing to do, you know, lose a whole month. I'll get you some towels and tell your uncle. Whoa, he's Whoa, licking his he lip. Did. What is it? Yeah, he just checked out Madam he Look, he's like to his brother. Hey. Yeah. What a dump. It's scary. I don't like it very much. I do, it's so gothic. Oh, she's the gothic girl. She'll be popular after puberty. Your nephews and nieces? Impossible! Not due till Friday! Isn't that right, Horace? Yes, Father, not due till Friday. Ah. Today is Friday. It's really funny! If you keep saying it, it only gets funny, right? Isn't that right, Grey Matter Studios? I haven't watched their video yet, so I have no idea what they actually said or reacted to. Maybe they didn't do anything. But I'll just sit here and nod. Yep. Good point. It's me, Cyril. You came to my eighth birthday party. Uh, you gave me a subscription to Algebra Monthly. Cyril? Cyril! No, Cyril was a much smaller boy. But that was five years ago. Was it? Oh, um, I should think he'd be about your age by now. <laughs> I wonder what he's doing. How the hell is this Kenneth Branagh? The great Shakespearean actor, king of the Russian accent and villain of Tenet. Hello, Horace. Hello. I was taught never to talk to strangers. Wow. Looks like a lesbian. <laughs> Should probably not say that. But I did. I already did. I could edit it out, 
But I won't. In the morning, I'll give you a tour of the grounds. You're allowed everywhere except the greenhouse. That's strictly off limits. Why would a greenhouse be off limits? Weed. <laughs> That's why I didn't know what day it was. Don't go near Uncle Albert's herb, children. You can't tell me what to do. You can, and you jolly well know it. Strong language there, saying jolly. The things that we do around Christmas time can't have that language. What a place. All summer. I'll go mad too. I'll kill everybody. Is that kid eating what? the whole thing? Is that a kid? It looks like a man. Statutes, laws, edicts, regulations, rules. What? Rules? <laughs> but you cannot give rules to children. Oh, what kind of dark world is this? No running in corridors. Rule two, you will tidy your rooms from top to bottom, side to side, up and down, round and round, and of course, back to front. This is like Narnia and Harry Potter had a very, very disappointing child that didn't live up to anybody's expectations. Now, did Martha say that we were not to go in here? Or that we were not to miss going in here? She wasn't very clear. No, she was clear, you little asshole. She said, don't go in there, you little prick. No, you definitely don't deserve that lifetime of chocolate and shit. Ah, a wardrobe, but just a small one. It's just a door, but still, the same thing. Open the door to the magical world. Here we go. Great. It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one room. I can't hear a word you're saying. Robert, stop falling around. Come here. Come here. You're saying something about not being in the greenhouse? You know, in order for there to be an entertaining plot, you have to have at least one protagonist you don't want to smack in the face every time you see them. So far, that hasn't been the case of this. It's locked. Is it? I wonder what's behind it. I don't. Just use a little kid as a battering ram. I'm sure it would work. Why do they even have a baby sister when she's, like, not doing anything? Oh, well, this is why. Because this baby's gonna figure it out. Witchcraft? Witchcraft? I'm not interested in the door anymore. I'm interested in the witch that you have in the family. Guys, you're about to go into Narnia. Uh, it is literally Narnia. It's Narnia. It's a series of unfortunate events. And it's uh, Harry what, what, Potter. What, Terabithia, Bridge Terabithia. Terabithia. I can see light. Wait. Look at it! Anthea. Oh, look! Awful CGI backgrounds. So beautiful. Couldn't have just gone to a real beach and filmed at a real beach? Was that that hard? Was that that far out of your budget? Huh? Is this supposed to be a metaphor? Are they actually here right now, or...? <laughs> they're all they're dead. All... They ate those grapes and yeah, they're, they're, they're all... <laughs> they're all laying on the ground. <laughs> just hallucinating. <laughs> have eaten all those grapes. It wasn't me. It was... it was it. I said it! He said the name of the thing! Ha <laughs> ha! Didn't know Pennywise had such a farting problem. That was a point that they left out in the other movies. <gasps> Look! A lobster! Always <laughs> wax that lobster. That is Pennywise's most terrifying form I've ever seen. Yikes. <laughs> the baby's like, fucking see ya. It's an ugly little monster. It? 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 Do you mean to tell me you do not know what a Samian is? You're a what? I am a Samian Crustacea Decapodlium Wishersaurus. Got it. What? Oh. I am a sand fairy. Oh, sand fairy? Yeah. I thought... Fairies had little ballet dresses, and wings, and wands. What on earth have you been reading? Something better than this. I'll call you Sandy. Why? Because we found you in sand. 
<laughs> oh, you're so funny. Have your parents tried boiling you? That's it. Come on. Yeah, I don't like Robert, that boiling line, now. do you? No, <laughs> kids don't like that. I know that's Eddie Izzard, and I'm generally a fan of Eddie Izzard, but he put zero, zero effort into this voice acting job. Ha, ha, ha. Boiling. They don't like that boiling line. They are... Meh, 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 meh. The fairies in books can grant wishes. All right, all right. I will grant you your wishes. But I have a list of demands. My needs are minimal, but what I need is a stage room with a sunken bath and a tap to go backwards and forwards. And I need a toothbrush made of gold, not the bristles, of course, the, the bit you hold. Gold bristles will hurt my gums, you see. Yeah, I did that once. Anyway, that like white sand spread on the floor, preferably the sand from the Bahamas, and a, a shower cap. The thing is, we don't have a palace. And a yak. <laughs> that wasn't funny, but I, I laughed. <laughs> we wish we yeah, all, right. all the tasks and the uncle's list to be mm. done by magic. Ah. Okay, so you want me to give you extra hand? No, no, no! <laughs> what? I understand the whole thing about like genies trying to like twist your words to come up with different ways to answer your wishes, but how did fixing all the tasks? come up with giving you extra hands. That's just straight manipulation. There's no correlation there at all. Are we sure those were grapes that they all ate? Are we sure? What is this? This is shitty cat Matt. They're just rubbing everything with claws. That's cleaning in London. See, when they said they needed a hundred of them, you didn't realize that was foreshadowing. That's called good writing. Horace is coming. You have to distract him. Quickly, go, quick. Well, 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 it's you, you horrible little child. Shouldn't you be cleaning my room? Horace, it's time we got to know one another. No, it isn't. <laughs> He's supposed to be an awful, annoying character, and to be fair, he is, but that was a good line. I can relate a lot to that. <laughs> When the rest of the children are annoying, having an annoying kid doesn't really stand out as much. Oh, and apparently he's also Sid from Toy Story. Oh, no. Time out. Time out. Stop. One of the chores, one of the chores on the list was to practice the violin 20 times underneath the stairs. Okay. Who dares sally forth to the dragon's lair? It's Cyril, Uncle. Yes, yeah, Cyril. Mm. Yeah, popular name these days. Seems every other boy I meet is called Squirrel. Cyril. Cyril. What? what? He's on drugs too. It's all these grapes, man. <laughs> what the hell? What part of doing the chores involved breaking all the dishes? I mean, this is fucking Fantasia. We're just ripping from every story possible. Is that what we're doing? Whoever the hell made this, who greenlit this? How is that a chore? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he just flat out didn't answer their wish. That wasn't the wish at all. So he's just an asshole. What's this one? No, wait. Don't tell me. Eggysaurus. No, Tyrannosaurus. He's got an egg of a T-Rex. That's not gonna come back later at all, is it? I'm probably too drunk to drink this. Yeah, here I go. How are we gonna pay for the damage? Not too bad. I mean, it's just these plates and that clock. This vase. How expensive do you think a Ming vase would be? So this is also a little bit of a series of unfortunate events. So you got Narnia, Harry Potter, a series of unfortunate events. Uh, how many more things are you going to make into one story? It sucks. <laughs> they say they want to make big changes to your book. They do. Yes, it seems difficult sums for children isn't catchy enough. Catchy. You get it, catchy. He's got a net when he said catchy, because you 
catch things with nets. They're suggesting a new title. Counting the fun with Charlie Chicken. They're replacing you with a chicken. Ridiculous. Of course it is. Right back and tell them immediately. Right you are. Just give me the name of the chicken and the address of his coop. It's not even like funny bad, it's just bad. <laughs> you can't have a counting chicken in your book. Of course not. No fingers can't count without fingers. No use. I mean, I suppose he could use wings. No, that's silly. He'd only get to two. I don't understand it. Have you come to thank me for yesterday's wish? Mm -hmm. I brought you these. Ah, forget it. How kind. That hole doesn't look very comfortable. Oh, yes, it is. Would you like to come and sit next to me? Like Flopsy? Here's my rabbit. Oh, oh my god. god. I thought I was about to see his if jump. <laughs> you really think they would have done that? I wish it didn't turn out the way we expected. No. Yes, our doubles turned the hall into a swimming pool. <laughs> was anything damaged? It's a Titanic! <laughs> oh no! Somebody probably asked him for a dream vacation, and that's what he gave them. The implications are wild! Of course, everything is back to normal by sunset. Why, of course? Because wishes only last during the daylight. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Everybody, obviously. So can you fix everything we broke? Oh, yes. But they'll only be broken again by sunset. Okay, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. I caught you in your own faulty shit logic. If the wish fucked everything up, and they want to use a wish to unfuck everything, but if wishes only last during the day, and so by the end of the day, the unfuckery will be unfucked and back to fucked, then why did the fuck fuck on through the day into the night? There's no logic there, in other words. Let's ask money, then we can pay to get everything fixed. Yeah. I wish we had buckets of the stuff. Oh, rockets! Okay. So, buckets of gold. <laughs> So when we get into town, we're going straight for the antique shop. Why? Why are they buying antique? What? Is, why are antiques so valuable? Why are we buying antiques? Why wouldn't you take it to the bank or something and deposit into a bank account, and so then you'd have millions and millions of dollars that you could then spend on whatever you want for the rest of your life. I just don't understand. He didn't want our money. Neither did the man in the antique shop. What's the baby? Yeah, what's the baby? <laughs> it's the car. Something to do with the car. That's not a car. That is the Portman Speedster 3000. Also known as a car. <laughs> or the Nimbus 2000. The Nimbus 2000. Yeah, that's it's what I'm the fastest one yet. <laughs> and perhaps sir uh, would like to take the aforementioned automobile for a test drive. Great idea. There is just a small matter of a deposit. Listen up. Were kids just able to buy cars back in the day? I don't think so. <laughs> Holy green screen, Batman! What, did one of their fucking dresses just fly off? Whoa, there's a naked nun! Where did that nun robe come from? Did they strip the nun? Just give me that! <laughs> there's a naked nun running around! What? Where did the... Where did... What? Where did they come from? Naked grandma! <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Bees Marsh. Sergeant! Just a moment. These hooligans have wrecked my motor car. Oh. This one here Oy. is driving like a child behind the wheel of your motor car. Yes, because he stole it and was trying to run away with it. Come on, dude, you're a lie businessman and you can't even come up with a lie that quickly? Come on, I did and I'm drunk. And I could have been like, hey, this kid stole my car. And caused all this damage.
nocturnal excursion, dishevelled youngsters, ripe odour, odd situation. Martha, explain. We were just taking the dog for a walk, sir. Ah, the howl of the hounds. Ah, running with a pack of an autumn morning, eh? Fresh air, waggity tails, eh? Bow, wow, wow. But we don't have a dog, father. Use your imagination, Horace. This is torture. We're just getting tortured right yep. now. Who did yeah, this? Yeah. Who did this? Who's responsible? It didn't take long to get you behind the wheel. Why do you have to be oh, such a pain? Why do you have to fuss up and about? You think you're so grown up, but you're not. Stop. Yeah, you're one to talk. You're the freaking Dakota Fanning of the boy world of acting. You you think just because you talk like an adult makes you a good actor. Well, it doesn't! No, it doesn't! No, it doesn't! Well, I may have something that might cheer you up. A little bit of magic. Abra Chihuahua. What? <laughs> it's addressed to all of us. I recognize the writing. It's from Dad. And we're back to Lemmy Snicket. Fucking A. My darling children. If you're reading this letter, your father and I were killed in a bombing raid. We're going to make friends with Horace. Why? Why not? Because he's so nasty. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. They could, you could have been oh, friends oh with that psychopath. <laughs> Stuff. How about we make a picnic and go down to the sea? Oh, I wish I could. I really, really do. The truth is, I don't like you. Hey, we have something in common. We have something in common with freaking Horace. That's his name, sure. I don't like his name, but all right. Don't be silly. Put that down. Put that down. Make me. Horace, put those down. Uh, what? What? It's just a doll head, you freaking pansies. You really got scared by that? Up here, quick! Billy! Oh no, those look terrible. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It looks like a Snapchat filter. <laughs> <laughs> What if, like, there was a learning curve and you just jumped out the window and fell? You know, birds don't know how to fly the first day they have wings. So maybe people wouldn't either and you just... <laughs> but that would be too good for this movie. <laughs> Having a magical moment watching the Nazis in their blimps. Haha, -ha, whimsy, Nazis, whimsical. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! He's gonna get. Oh my! <laughs> what is this movie? I think I landed on Uncle's roses. He's gonna be so angry. Come here, children. Now, uh, I'm sure that all will be well, uh, uh we must hope, uh, we must believe. Mommy! So wait, why weren't they just with their mom the whole time? If their dad went to war, I'm sorry, I didn't pay attention at the beginning. If the, if the beginning explained this shit, I apologize. But if their dad went to war, why the hell weren't they just with their mom? Am I dumb? Maybe. Maybe. His plane went down behind enemy lines several days ago. He's missing. No. It's not true. You've had all your wishes today. I gave you all wings. That's not an easy thing to do, you know. I do need this wish. I can grant your wish, but when dawn comes, not before. But you'll do it. Yes. But child, what then? The wish will fade at sunset. You know that. Maybe this wish won't fade. But you know it will. 
What's the point in wishes that don't last? It doesn't matter if the wishes only don't last that long. In fact, if the wish lasts more than four hours, you're supposed to call your doctor anyway. Wishes are temporary. You enjoy the present, bro. Enjoy the present in the present from the president. It says president. Could you move over a bit? Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Get up. Tomorrow will come quicker if I stay with you tonight. That's that's literally not true at all. How did he get in there? How did he get in there? What? He didn't follow him. He just happened to get in there? What? Uh, 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 oh, Jesus. <laughs> You're just in time for the dissection. Is it a dissection if they're alive? I thought it's called something else. It's a vivisection, isn't it? This kid's stupid. <laughs> he doesn't know the difference. You can talk. Yeah, you should hear me sing. Oh, I thought he pulled out a gun. Yeah, I thought he pulled out a gun. <laughs> Get away. You're not like other children. I should hope not. No, you're like some crazy kid that's experimenting on things in the basement. Yeah, that literally is what he's doing, except... I don't think he's in the basement. Is proper satire literally just repeating what's actually happening? Because you're not wrong, but you're not really adding anything humorous. Nice egg. Tyrannosaurus, if I'm not mistaken. What? The T-Rex egg came back? I can't believe it. We have to make Sue, 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 Where have you been? Sound very. But that's where we're going. No, you can't. He isn't there. What are you talking about? You've been to it already, haven't you? No, you yes. wasted the Robert, wish. I was trying to help oh, what you, Robert. You should have come to I'm us doing first. It for Dad. But Horace followed me. I had to do it because you don't care. Oh wait, is it the third act fight? Good writing. It's only like we followed every plot ever to a T. So creative. Nobody's ever done that before. The main characters are fighting with each other. I've never seen that in another plot. Now, children, this is an example of what we in the wish game call a bad wish. Very bad, even better than the bad ones. That's some bad CGI. That's like some video game. Like, that's some like PS2 graphics. I know what to do. Jane. Music doth soothe the beast, but scratchy violence pisses the critic off. That's comedy because he fell over. That's how comedy works, right? Is that your mother? It's okay. Come through my nails. It's the light buffing, thank you. Hello. Are you the three wise monkeys? I'm Captain Spikey. I got you, Sun Fairy. Hello. Yeah, you're, you're my favorite one of the bunch, you know. I got you too. Well, you're my favorite one of the bunch too. And you're very tall. Did they just leave Eddie Issert in like a recording booth and say, hey, Talk for two hours. I'm sure that's enough. We're not gonna give you a script. Just talk and we'll work it in. Yes, just burp me once. Uh, God, why is this so bad? Oh, Eddie Izzard's funny. What the hell happened? Eddie Izzard is funny. I swear to God he is. Are you strong enough to grant us our wish now? Well, I'm sorry, but that mad scientist cousin of yours has made the wish for today. You're gonna have to wait till tomorrow, we which can't. is my birthday. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'll be 22. We wish for our dad to come home safely. Okay, why would you wish for your dad to be there when he's just gonna disappear anyway? Why not wish for him to be, I don't know, safe? You wishing for him to be there is useless because then he's just gonna disappear at nightfall. 
You're not thinking straight. And neither am I. I just want this movie to be over. Dunkirk ended a lot differently than I remembered. <laughs> He's crying! Please, Daddy. I want you to stay. It's Robert's idea. It's not Nightfall yet. Freaking Pennywise is a dick. What was the point of this story? I don't know. We just got E.T. and dropped him in the fucking Narnia and told a Harry Potter story with Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. You should have rest too. Hmm? Yes. We'll look after Horace. For a bit. I'm not sure I am quite tired. Okay. All right, time to put him out. Yeah, smother him with the pillow. <laughs> yeah. It's all real. It wasn't a dream. Yes, and it has to be our secret. But the world must know. Why does the world know? Why does everybody want to let the world know? What did the world ever do for you? We could write a classified report, bury it in red tape for 40 years and deny everything. Or we could just keep it to ourselves. That was funny. To the man who wrote it. And probably nobody else. Suppose you want to make today's wish. No. No, no, we don't. You don't want a wish? We've decided not to make any more of them. Well, that's quite possibly the most sensible thing I've heard in 8,311 years. I thought he was 22. Continuity be damned! It's a birthday card. Well, how did you know? Don't get many cards these days. You know how it is after your 6,523rd birthday, you just stop. <laughs> Didn't he say 8,000 years, though? What's happening? I don't know. It's fine. Ah. Uh, it's. He's called Brian. He's oh. to keep you company. You no, know, for the best bit. Hello, Brian. Brian. <laughs> Hello, Brian. Not very chatty, is he? How did he start to get roped in this shit? Oh my god, it's so bad. Uh, uh, Eddie Izzard, why? Why? Happy birthday! You have to play them out. Happy birthday! Dear and make a wish. Of course. And a shocker, Why? <laughs> I'm sorry, why? Why is this the movie I decided to watch? I'm sorry, Great Matters Studio, I put you through this! This was my fault. Nobody's fault but my own. Come on, Jane. Oh my Please. God, it's still going. The dad has to come back. I don't give a fuck. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, <gasps> Dad! Whoa! Alright. Don't worry. We'll see them again in episode two called It and Five Children. It comes back, front of title, above title, It in It. This time with a speedboat. You know, if I make a little adjustment to the top, I can get a speedboat out of this thing. There's my electric toothbrush. Well, Brian, 
You look very familiar. Have I met you before? Well, come in here. Come over here. Sit down here, Brian. He's still Have talking. You <laughs> sit. Just sit down, Brian. You don't bend in the middle. Like fish. Hey, turn his mic off. He's still going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Green Matter Studio. I'm sorry. But once again, please go subscribe to them. I'll link them below. I did make a video with them on their channel, so go check down, and give that a like, subscribe to them, all that. Show them some love because they deserve it. They're great. And once again, thank you guys also for being part of my video. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, so thanks. Um, I'm Simon from Simon's Pants. I don't know how to do an outro right now, but I'm really drunk. This was the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Hello, Brian. Brian. Hello, Brian. Where's my chat? Is it?